crazy. Bitch, rude as a bitch if I get the wrong energy. Yeah, they know I. That's me. I'm nice until someone is rude to me. I actually am petty as. Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I got my parka on, babes. It's cold. It's so windy in LA. I don't know what is going on. It's like not even that cold, but it's so windy that it makes it freezing. Some errands to do today. Well, I did all the errands. Last errand that we're doing is going to Trader Joe's. I might go to Sprouts too, because I think they have some, I am like obsessed with like finding new vitamins. And so we might go there because I think I found some vitamins that I kind of want But all I know is that we need to go to Trader Joe's because I need some food We just got back from Northern California I'm gonna get a matcha and then I forced myself to make one at home mm. I need to get a new cup Like a like a smaller one. I want to get like a grande size cup of this. I only like to use these cups for water. I'm like very particular. I do not like putting anything else in here but water. These are my water cups. You know what I'm saying? So I hate putting like matcha in them. I want like a designated matcha cup. I know that sounds so weird, but I just hate mixing my cups up. This is my favorite cup ever. I don't care what anybody says about a mother Stanley. Y'all cannot get me to pay $80 for a cup. When I have one for 19 bucks at Target that does the same thing. And look, baby. You hear that? Fits in the cup holder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, to the Stanley girls. Because literally everybody I know owns a Stanley. But I, I just have so many of these cups. I just can't see myself buying another cup. I don't care if the Stanley holds ice for seven years, babes. You can't get me to buy it. It's my favorite. The Reduce brand, okay? I'm a Stan. I'm sorry. What can I say? Not a Stan Lee. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Even though I have, I have so much exciting news. I dropped a new song. Yes, I tried to do Oh, hold on, let me play it for you, let me play it for you. I think you should stream it, maybe I'm biased. And new music is coming out now, every single month for the entire year. I'm not slipping up on that, I wanna be consistent because music makes me freaking happy. It's literally the entire reason I got started as a content creator, if people don't know. I made music first, before I was ever a content creator. And then I started doing this because I love making videos as well, but a lot of people don't know that. I made music before I ever made um, content here on YouTube, which is so interesting, because now I feel like my my whole life is like more YouTube, but I really want to get back into music because I love it. That's just, it's just what it is, you know? That's like what I see myself doing long term in regards to like my career and life. So even like if it's not like writing music for me, I'd love to write music for other people. I really don't care. I just love the process of creating music. I just love it. I love everything that goes into making a record. Everything. I love it. I love it all. Beep. I can't play too much of it because I think they'll copyright it. They'll copyright me on my own song. Anyways, let's go into Trader Joe's, get this vlog on and popping. Okay, because I'm hungry. I want to go home and eat. <laughs> like the worst Trader Joe's haul ever <laughs> because I'm just I don't know I need to find a new grocery store maybe I need to start going to Whole Foods or Sprouts let's just go to Sprouts y'all tomorrow is going to be the first of February I have to get a Valentine's Day gift for him I don't even know I don't even know I don't even <laughs> and for my mom we get Valentine's Day gifts for each other I'm actually wearing mine can you see? Oh, y'all. She went bougie on me. She got me a little Gucci ring. Can y'all see it? Hold on. How cute is that? Can you really see? Hold on. Look at that. When I opened it, I was like, not you fucking went bougie on me. And my mom, like, literally cannot keep a secret. So she told me about it, like, literally the day she got it. Love it. I'm like, oh my god, now I have to get her something good. Because, like, she went all bougie. She went all... I was like... Oh no, <laughs> but we do get each other like a little something something for Valentine's Day every year See, A lot of people ask me why I wear rings on my ring finger. It's one of my only fingers that's not Chunky that rings will actually fit on and look good on so until I'm 
married, engaged. I will be wearing rings on this finger. I'm not married yet. I'm not wasting these good fingers. Tell me why that I would wear a freaking engagement ring in my videos if I haven't announced that I'm engaged. <laughs> I would know. Y'all would be the first people that I would tell. Or I just wouldn't tell anybody until y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep my besties in the loop. Should I go to Sprouts? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go to Sprouts. I low-key do want that liquid multivitamin. If they don't have it, oh well. We just took a little trip to Sprouts, but... Um, yeah, I want the liquid multivitamin. I'm really trying to take care of my gut health. You guys seen in the last weekly vlog where I got new probiotics. Love those Ray probiotics. The, the Ray probiotics, so good. Love them, literally love them. This year I really wanna prioritize my internal health. I used to be like really, really into my health and all, and then I just all of a sudden feel like I stopped kinda caring and like I don't want to say letting myself go because I feel like I'm still pretty on top of like taking care of my health and stuff for the most part mm. just feel like I want to get back to you know prioritizing vitamins and supplements and working out and my water intake you know all of that nice stuff and I'm still doing the 75 hard but when we were in Northern California I didn't work out any of those days babes no no so we did fall off for a second but i'm like not being hard on myself because why why would i all right y'all we are at sprouts let me take my glasses off y'all wait i have to tell you something funny about these glasses <laughs> oh my god when we went to northern california we stopped to pee well no let me not say pee okay i still have to do a number two i had to go to the bathroom so bad like i really thought that we could make it all the way without having to stop because my car can get 500 miles to the gallon like not to the gallon oh my god <laughs> 500 miles on a full tank of gas so it only takes about it's only like 360 miles to get to from la to uh the bay I was so badly thought that I was not gonna have to stop at all. I thought we we're gonna make it all the way through. No, I had to poop. Okay, I had to I had to poop. Stop at these public restrooms. In there, I noticed that my sunglasses were still on my eyes, okay? And I'm like, okay, let me put these somewhere where I don't forget them. And I put them in my pants. I was like, I'm gonna remember to take them out of my pants before I pull my pants up. No. I forgot to take them out of my pants. <laughs> I lift my foot up to flush the toilet because I'm not flushing the toilet with my fingers. No, babes. Glasses fall into said poop. I did a courtesy flush just in case anybody came in. So it wasn't poop in the toilet, but it was literally like poo crumbs, poo remnants, poo in the public toilet. My glasses fell in the public toilet. Y'all, I have since sanitized them. Obviously, I don't want to get pink eye. And like, honestly, the thought of wearing them was literally grossing me out. I washed them immediately after they fell into the, but it was like mid flush. Like they almost flushed down the drain. All I could do was laugh. Cause I was like, that is some shit that just would happen to me. Like it just would, you know what I'm saying? It's gross, but like shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Literally shit happens. <laughs> All right, y'all. Only thing I got inside Sprouts. They didn't have the Mary Ruth's multivitamin, but I was like, they got this, which is literally just as good. Apparently it says it gives you a boost of energy. It's got your daily greens, your daily fruits, veggies, all of that. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna get this one. And it's the exact same price. So we'll see how this works. Complete liquid multivitamin. I got two of these little matchas. This is the matcha that I use. It tastes exactly like Starbucks if you use it with Oatly. If you use Oatly and these little jade leaves, if you like the sweetness of the Starbucks matcha, you will like this. This tastes exactly like Starbucks matcha. Okay, save your coin. Do it at home. Get this, okay? Trader Joe's haul, this is very unexciting i got five salads bacon i haven't had bacon in a while so i was like okay 
Let me have some bacon for breakfast. Pesto chicken breast. I never tried this, but I don't know. I've tried the shawarma chicken thighs and they were pretty good. So I was like, okay, let me try the pesto chicken. A ground chicken because I haven't had this in a while either. I was trying to get stuff that I like am not sick of because I literally eat the same thing all the time and then I just get sick of it. I got these little cheese puffs. Chirpy Puffs Dog Treats. I don't know. It says dried Himalayan cheese. We'll see. Bags of apples. Oh. And that's it. Is that really it? That's literally it. <laughs> I thought I got something else. Was that really it? Yeah, that was so uneventful. I kind of want to test this out. Okay. Does anybody else's microwave beep 20 million times after the food is done? This one will go for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, babes, we heard you the first time. Like, you don't have to keep her mind. And then I tried to look up how to turn it off. Yeah, you literally can't. I've tried everything. It will not stop. It's like the microwave from hell. It doesn't say you have to refrigerate it after you open it, but I'm gonna refrigerate it. Refrigerate after opening. Just kidding. I just can't read. <laughs> oh, that looks like a legitimate. It says citrus flavored. I'm thinking that that is not citrus flavored. Ah! For breakfast, I made one of these little egg witch things. I had another one from Trader Joe's. So I was like, perfect. Because I so don't feel like making food. Sometimes microwave meals, they just come in handy. Okay, especially when you're like on a time crunch or you're so hungry and you just don't feel like making food. Ugh, it's literally the best. Okay, two tablespoons. Let me get my tablespoons out. Tablespoons. This looks disgusting. Oh, did y'all see that? Oh, it actually does smell citrusy. Okay, let's see. Oh. That's not bad at all. I was really tripping for no reason. The aftertaste, oh God, disgusting. But when you were like throwing it back, it's not bad. Yeah, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the girls that I grew beside, all around me. Gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, DT Two turn baby girl you know me Who am I? All the s**t around me, right at it die Gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by Two turn baby girl you know me Call the shorty off a finsta Just the one on a hoodie, it's a Crenshaw Way that I've been living unconventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting tense up Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal I can't even like I don't miss ya Right now I'm just stuck inside a crib on my own Soon as I free up I'm about to pop up on your phone Like I'm outside in an AMG Right outside PT Two turn baby girl you know me Who am I? Alright y'all We are at Cycle Bar It is 6.18 in the morning I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to get up, but I was up at like 4, 40. I had to pee every single hour last night. I don't know if it was those liquid vitamins or what, but oh my God, I had to get up every single hour to pee a lot, like pee a lot. I'm like, I don't even drink this much water yesterday. Anyways, so I'm up. I'm actually very much alive, well, awake. I'm kind of nervous because like the only spin class I've ever taken or like cycle class or whatever was at the L at LA Fitness one time and it was so hard I thought I was gonna throw 
blow up. We'll see. I know a lot of people like Cycle Bar and Soul Cycle and stuff like that. Um, so we'll see. It took me forever to find the place too. Like this, the way that this like outdoor mall is like shaped is very confusing. So I had to like search on people's like photos that they posted on Google to find where it was. Anyways. I'm about to go in because they say come 10 minutes early so you can like they can show you your bike and all they can show you how to like work the stuff get the shoes um the locker you know all of that stuff and sign sign the waiver but this class is free your first class on cycle bar if you have a cycle bar near you is free like they don't make you put any credit card information or anything so I was like it doesn't hurt to try it and then if I like it I'll buy some class like rides you know buy some class passes but We'll see. I know that spin is like so hard for me. Like I'm not a bike girl, okay? But I was like, I wanna do something else like classes for cardio. And I was thinking about Orange Theory and then I was like, let me just try Cycle Bar cause the first class is free. So like we could see if we like it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> anyways, let's get in there. I'm nervous, are you nervous? Let me drink some water so I don't puke. That was so intense. Look at my face, that was so intense. I was last place. I didn't know that they show what place you were in. I was like, and then at the end the girl's like, have you taken a spin class before? I could tell that you knew what you were doing. And I'm like, babes, what do you mean knew what I was doing? I was in last place. If you have a cycle bar near you, this place has the mother freaking deals, y'all. Okay, so my first, that ride was free. Okay, and then they got a promotion going on. 14 days for $14. Be so for real. I signed up so fast. And then I was like, in February, they're also doing like half off your first month of membership. So after the 14 days, I think that I'll get a membership. Like a, ha like, um, a membership because it's half off your first month. And the rides already like are not that expensive. So I'm like, this is gonna be my new jam. I'm thinking like 6 30 a.m. cycle and then Pilates at night. That was so intense, y'all. I'm not and then she's like, pull out the baton and we start doing arms. I'm like, ah. is she kidding right now? And then like after they bring you these like eucalyptus towels and everybody in there is so nice. Look at what they gave me, a freaking water bottle. Ooh, they even have a water bottle. Like, bitch, I'm gonna bring this. Like, they just, everybody in there was so nice. So nice. The class only had six people in it. That was a good start to my day. I love working out in the morning, but I literally can't force myself to, like, wake up and go to the gym. So, like, forcing myself to wake up and go to a class because I paid money for it, a whole lot better. A whole lot better because I'm like, I'm not gonna waste my coin. You know what I'm saying? I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> I knew that my vagina was hurting in class. Okay, my underwear is ripped in half. I don't wanna show, cause it's like nasty, but like there's no stains on it. Babes, look at the two pieces. <laughs> so I won't be wearing any underwear to the class ever again, because what the heck? It was too much for my panties, I guess. I just got out of the bath. I took a bath, cause I was already, I'm already sore from my class. <laughs> People have been asking me to give my skincare routine, so I was like, let me do that, actually, because it's very simple. Thought I would go through it real quick with y'all while I'm getting ready for the day. I wash my face with Dr. Bronner's. This is my tried and true, it just is. This is my favorite face wash ever. It just like di diluted a little bit in my hands and that's it. Sometimes I use lavender, sometimes I use baby unscented. I honestly use whatever I have. Sometimes I don't wash my face twice a day. Sometimes I only wash it once. My next thing is my exfoliant. This is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I use this every other day. Okay, this thing is amazing. It's got salicylic acid in it, so if you are not good with salicylic acid, don't get this, obviously, but my skin is good with salicylic acid, not good with benzoyl peroxide, so I have to make sure that I 
only use things with salicylic acid in them like acne type of treatment things for moisturizers right now i have two i have the one that la roche posay sent me in pr it's the b5 bomb this stuff is amazing i love it and then aquaphor good plain old just aquaphor this is what i use it's just what works for me like i said i can't use things that have like tons of dyes or fragrances or you know stuff like that so i just will put some of this b5 balm i've got a clean face i wash my face with the dr bronner's so i'll just put the b5 balm on um or the aquaphor or what also really works for me is tatcha the dewy skin cream um, from Tatcha. I know a lot of people can't use that because their skin is sensitive, but my skin absolutely loves the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I need to go re-up on that. I also really love the Laneige, I think it's called Laneige Water Bank. Really, really good as well. During the day, I use this Josie Moran Get Even Sun Milk because it's got SPF in it. It's got super fruit blends for hydration, like two pumps of that in the morning so nothing crazy like not super particular on eye cream and i wouldn't even say that i use it every day maybe like every other day but i literally just use whatever i have laying around this is the pacifica vegan collagen i will say the best eye cream i've ever used is from paracone md it's the cold eye plasma it smells like a fish maybe it doesn't anymore maybe they changed the formula but that's the best eye cream i've ever used it's also like 130 dollars so and it's a small tube okay but that is my favorite eye cream of all time if anybody wanted to know it is the only eye cream that i've actually woken up the next morning and been like holy shit my eyes look like i got a facelift you know what i'm saying now you're supposed to use your ring finger and apply light pressure but I'll literally just use aquaphor or again whatever i have laying around for my lips usually it's aquaphor or laneige the laneige lip sleeping mask i also like the tatcha one but i like the laneige one more i'm gonna throw in some honorable mentions that i use like every once in a while that i also feel like are amazing the juno sunday riley oil this is so good and it lasts forever love this for when my skin needs more moisture or hydration at night i only use this at night i really only use oils at night um so my skin can just like soak it all in this is amazing i love using it for my gua sha as well like when i do my little face massage i also love different this is amazing besides my curology i do use my curology every once in a while if i feel like i'm having texture or breaking out i use my curology or this the different it's so good it's so good this is literally the best like spot treatment or you know acne treatment that you can use it's so good i don't know what is even in this stuff but it's crazy how good this stuff is it just comes in like a little tube you can get it at target walmart i believe sells it as well i'm sure amazon it's called different it's amazing you can just use it on top of anything like a spot treatment usually if i use this i don't put anything else on my face i just use this so it kind of like dries out my skin if i'm having like any bumps textures you know what i'm saying any type of pimples or anything it's literally everything i do and everything that i use like those are all my top products i have ice pick scars as well i don't know if you guys can see i don't know if the camera picks it up but it's basically just like little indents in your face it literally looks like almost like big pores i guess i i would say but it's like your skin is just damaged from um having acne like i just my skin scars really easily so when i had cystic acne even though i wouldn't even pick at it it would just scar like if i had a pimple there it would scar so if you see my face close up like in person if you really really look at it it's just tons of little um little pics but um over time they have gotten a lot less deep they're still there things that are really good for like stuff like that is like laser chemical peels microdermabrasion i used to do microdermabrasion that helped a lot but yeah i definitely want to get back into going 
to a facialist maybe like every couple of weeks just to take care of those scars but they don't really bother me like I'm not really worried about it sorry I'm just doing a little bit of rolling because down here my skin gets really really swollen like I get really swollen around these areas um, so I'm just rolling them out my face gets so puffy in the morning and I get really swollen after a workout. Does anybody else get that? After a workout, I swear my body like puffs up. Like, bitch, I'll be looking like Mrs. Puff. I'm gonna chop my eyebrows off right now. <clears throat> you guys are probably like, bitch, what the hell? Hold on, let me curl my eyelashes. I also curl my eyelashes every single day just because it low-key makes me look more alive. I don't know, something about having lashes just makes you look like a different human. Like, look at my eyelashes. When they're curled, it's like, who? is she i kind of want to cut off the tail end of my eyebrow i have been wanting to do the straight eyebrows forever now and i'm kind of nervous but everybody that said that they were nervous and then did it said it was literally the best decision of their life so i kind of want to do it Damn, that really does come off nice and good and quick. Apparently it's supposed to give you like a lifted look. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I don't want to take off like more than that. It does, oh my God, it like gives me more lid space. Do you see that? Why did that just like give me a brow lift? Are y'all seeing that? <gasps> Whoa. It's not a huge difference, but I like it. This one is like, they're, why are they different shapes though? Like, why is this one look so much higher than that one? Like, what? I think my eyebrows just sit like that. Whatever, they're sisters, not twins. I really wanna start doing my hair every day or like, you know, putting it in some sort of style every day. Like, I don't know how you bitches do your hair every single day. Like, how do you do that? And it's like, I can't get away with sleeping in the style and wearing it the next day. I look crazy. Like, I look crazy. So I can only wear one style for one day. And that's it, babes. Like, if I style it, it's only gonna get worn for one day. Next day, it looks like a rat's nest. I rinsed my hair with the rosemary water today. So we're on this freaking growth journey, okay? <laughs> Like, I just want it to be, like, past my boob again. It's been so long. It's literally been since 2017 since I've had my hair to my boobs. And I just feel like it doesn't grow anymore. But it's also because I changed the color of it so much that it's like, girl, calm down. Like, you're literally killing your hair. I don't even give it a chance to grow, you know? So, all I wanted to do was make a nice lunch. And I tried to take my garlic out of the fridge. It's, it's on my pants. Oh my god, all I wanted to do was make lunch. Okay, that's it. Morning, hi. Um, we are doing cycle again this morning. Technically, it's my day off. I don't take like a normal weekend schedule, I take Thursdays and Saturdays off, like in the new year. That's like my new schedule. Yeah, they drove off. Is it closed? I literally wanted to, I did not bring an energy drink because I wanted to get a coffee at Coffee Bean because I literally love Coffee Bean. Like, I haven't had Coffee Bean in years and it's something that's like, it's not in all states, you know? It's kind of, I think it's only on the west side, like west coast. And it's, I think it's literally closed. Like, they closed it down, but it says that it's open. And this time, I wore thinner socks. If you're going to do any type of cycling, I think that you need to wear, like, thinner socks. Because the thick socks low-key hurt your feet if you put the cycling shoes on too, too tight. You know what I'm saying? So, I wore thinner socks because I was like, no, I'm not dealing with that again. Like, literally halfway through, I had to keep stopping and fixing my, the Velcro on the shoes. And they got me in there wearing like a 10, like size 10 foot. I'm like, bitch, I'm an 8. But no, the, sh the cycle shoes, I don't know what's wrong with those things. Now, later, I'm taking Harley and Tatey to the park with my mom. And then, what else? We have Pilates. And then I think we're going to Cane's. My friend and I are going to Cane's tonight after Pilates. 
it's like a little bit of a drive like there's I think it's like 40 minutes. It's like literally 40 minutes away, but she's like, let's go to Cane's. I've been craving Cane's. So I think we're going to do that. So I'm really, really excited about that. Okay. I'm excited because y'all know I can eat. Like I love to eat. And low key, the one time that I ever had Cane's, or no, I've had it twice now, but the last time I had it, when we were driving back from Florida, it was so good. We stopped at Cane's in Arizona. It was really good. Like I actually thought it was delish. Hello you guys. Okay, we're back from cycle. I'm making a little breakfast just like a little omelet and some bacon and eating the rest of the apple that I didn't eat this morning. Yeah, I felt so strong through that workout and I think it's because of what I ate this morning. I had Hmm, hold on. This is my last pack. These little instant oatmeal packs from I think they're from Trader Joe's. I think I don't know. I've had these since Florida. I'm not usually an oatmeal girl, but oh my God, it like satisfied every craving that I had in the morning. I didn't make a coffee, I didn't make a matcha, I'm gonna make a coffee now. But these, I added extra oats because I didn't think the serving size was enough. And it filled me up, it like made me like so energized for my workout and I had no caffeine. Y'all, I have had no caffeine and I feel literally so good. I think the, um liquid vitamins is really helping as well i'm not gonna take them today i think i'm gonna take them every other day because they make me pee out neon i just don't think i need that many vitamins you know what i mean it just doesn't need to go down that fast because i literally pee neon which means i'm getting so many extra vitamins that i'm just peeing out are too much for my body you know what i'm saying that's why you pee neon when you take a multivitamin because usually it's too much my body doesn't even need that much. You know what I'm saying? One of these eggs. Bye. I think one of these eggs was a double yolk. Because this is only two eggs. That's ginormous. I'm sorry. What? That's huge. And then some bacon. You guys smell the bacon? Oh my goodness. You smell the bacon. Bro. I love air fryer bacon. It's literally. If you do not air fry your bacon. Babes, welcome to a whole brand new world. I'm about to show you a whole new world. I just hate cleaning it up because it gets so greasy and then you have to like clean it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not complaining because air fryer bacon, so good. If you don't have an air fryer, what even are you doing? Like literally what are you freaking doing? This thing was like 50 bucks at Target and the amount of times I've used it and the amount of times I've had great meals come from this freaking air fryer, no, you need one. I'm honestly probably gonna sit and eat this on the couch. I never do that. I always eat at the table. I'm very much a table girl. Like, I love to eat at the table, but don't get me wrong, I love to eat at the couch too. Okay. Hello, family. What is going on? I'm, when was the last time I talked to you? Did I talk to you guys today? Yes, in the morning when we went to cycle. And at home when we were making breakfast. Yes, that was the last time, y'all. I laid in bed for half the day <laughs> and then <clears throat> I didn't leave to go to the dog park till like one ish I think I went and got a Starbucks new order alert okay because I don't ever really go to Starbucks anymore you guys know I like make my drinks at home um and it was a vanilla toasted, the toasted chicken espresso, the vanilla with the brown sugar pumps in it. Oh my God. One of the best coffees I've ever had there. The espresso was mwah, delicious. Perfect. They want to buy the brown sugar syrup. They have it on Amazon, but it's like $60. Like $60 for what? I mean, it's like a big bottle, but I'm like, wow. Jump scare. My mom and I went to the dog park. We're just vibing, you know, talking, sharing tea, swapping tea. We're literally about to leave, okay? Like, I would say in the next, like, five minutes, we were about to get up and leave. Lady and her dog comes in. I'm talking this, like, seven-year-old elderly woman, okay? Like, she's old. And Sadie is one of those dogs at the dog park that waits for the dog at the gate to come in. So she's waiting for the dog to come in. And right when the dog comes in, she's, like, <laughs> you know, like, getting excited, like, trying to play with it. Oh, shit. Hold on. Pause my story momentarily. You better not be late. Yeah, I was like, yeah, who's fucking late? Okay, well, I'll put my bag or something on, on your thing. Maybe they'll just think you're in the bathroom. Yeah. Be like, okay. Oh, she's in the bathroom taking a dunk. <laughs> I'm trying to fly over there anyway, so. 
Okay, good. Do a fly, but drive safe. Okay. Right, okay, love you. Bye. Last night we came, we had to sit like on other opposite sides of the room. Not feeling that. Okay, if you work out with your friends, you want to be next to them. You know what I'm saying? This elderly woman comes into the dog park, brings her dog. Okay, Sadie is like playing with the dog, trying to get the dog to play with her. And um, sometimes I think the dogs think it's like rough. Um, so they like kind of try to like bite her or nip at her because they think she's like either like annoying them or like playing too rough because she's like kind of needy like she'll be like come on let's go what are we doing are we playing like she'll like be up in their face like you know trying to be like come on play come on play the dog like starts uh going crazy on her and this lady is like is this your dog these are your dogs and i'm like yeah those are mine those are them and she's like they're friendly and i'm like yeah they're friendly she's like your dog just attacked my dog i'm like no 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 ma'am sadie will never attack another dog she will not bite another dog she will not attack another dog and she's like going off on me trying to like damn near cuss me out like bitch who let this woman out of the retirement home she was so rude y'all she got an attitude with me so quick and i said ma'am my dogs have been playing here just fine with all these other dogs and so you fucking showed up so don't fucking play with me because i'm not the motherfucking one okay i didn't say all that at the end there's a guy standing in between me and her while we're both yelling at each other my mom's just sitting there i'm tired of taking shit from people i don't care if you're 70 years old don't disrespect me and try to talk shit to me and think that that's gonna fly because it's fucking not i don't like to get spicy with people and i don't like when people take me out of my character but no i'm sorry i don't play by my fucking dogs and i know for a fact that she did not att i was watching she was trying to entice your dog and your dog got pissed off that had me hot like for the rest of the day anyways we need to go i need to go inside right now so i can get us a seat all right y'all got my canes tell me why there's a power out of it right now and they only give you one little sauce for all the freaking tenders and the fries. Asked for another sauce and she said, we actually do charge extra. What? And Chick-fil-A sauce is better, that's why. People do this back in the day. Don't light my drink on fire. This lemonade tastes like toilet water anyways. <laughs> Dinner by candlelight, how romantic. Everything you own in the box of the left. Okay, we got an Amazon package. Amazon haul. I'm still on my no buy, even though it's February. But my mom had an Amazon gift card, so we went crazy. The tablespoons. Oh, that's so cute. Look at them. I really like these. Because the tablespoons I have now, hold on. Oh my god, I almost dropped my camera. Here is my tablespoons that I have now. And like the writing is like wiping off of them. Pretty sure these are from the dollar store, so I just wanted to get like nicer quote. Something fucking bit me. I wanted to get nicer quality tea tablespoons. So, and it like matches my vibe because they're like wooden and all. Okay. Nobody needs to talk about tablespoons for 20 minutes. This is my fuzzy steering wheel cover. <laughs> Hopefully it fits. I think it'll fit. I just wanted a steering wheel cover. That's that on that. The other day I went to Starbucks and I wanted to find me a cup like a reusable cup but they didn't have any that i liked so i got these glasses off of amazon so that i can make my matcha or coffee and carry them around look how cute they are oh my god these are so cute i just like didn't have any nice like cups to travel around with for my match because i like to see it you know what i'm saying like, ah, that's so cute anyways it comes with four straws which is good because i love these glass straws i have so many of them oh, how cute i also ordered a matcha whisk which i think is coming sunday we'll have a real matcha whisk and we won't have to use this thing even though this works but like i want to feel official you know what i mean with a little wooden whisk you know and I just mix it up in these little bowls and it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be so cute. Anyways, now that I'm making my stuff at home, I'm like, I need all the utensils and everything to make it at home because it just makes the experience more enjoyable. And I've already saved so much money doing it at home and not going to Starbucks every day. 
So, except that I went to Starbucks two days in a row, but we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. This whole thing got way too deep and we should stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. 